Sometimes, even with duplicate detection rules, some duplicates will slip through the cracks. This could be due to misspelled names, or it just doesn't quite exactly match the criteria that we currently have in our rules. Fortunately, it is easy to merge records in CRM. I can see here that I have two Alpine Ski House accounts, and if I select both of them, I'm going to have the option to merge within the ribbon. Once you click that, a pop-up box will appear where you can view the key fields for each of these records. The most important first step is to select the primary record. This is important as if there are discrepancies between field values for these two records, the primary records value will be kept. In this case, I know that the one on the right is going to be my primary record, as I can see that there's a lot more details there, and I know anecdotally that that is the more up-to-date account record that we have. Once that, once that is done, you also just want to have a look at and make sure that the tick box is checked for view fields with conflicting data. This will greatly reduce the list size of the fields that are presented to you and makes it easier to work with. And again, only showing the ones where there's discrepancies between the two. The other box I highly suggest ticking is the merge records by choosing fields with data. And what that will do is if there's any blanks on my primary record, it would then use the value that is in our secondary record. If it's blank, that is the only time that it would use the secondary value. Uh, in this case, we don't have any of those because we've got quite a lot of detail filled into our primary record. But even if you tick that, it will still prioritise the primary records data as opposed to the secondary, unless you came in here and specifically told it that it should be using a different one. In this case, again, we're going to be using the merge records by choosing fields with data and having our priority be the primary record here, that one on the right. Once you're happy with that and you've scanned through and confirmed all the data is correct across the two of them, you can then press OK. And that will then merge those two records together. Depending on the number of child records, it can take a little bit more time because it will actually take any child records and merge it to the primary record. So since we're looking at accounts, in this situation, it would take any child contact records, even on our secondary record, and then link that to our primary one, which is our new parent and only Alpine Ski House one. The other thing that it will do once it's merged, it will then deactivate rather than delete and then sort of hide off that other account that I had in the background. One final note is only two records can be merged at any one time when using this feature. If you have three or four duplicates for the same value, you will need to work through two at a time and, and get that list down. 